Hey there YouTube, Lola here. Just thought I would come and do a quick hair update and a quick what am I reading right now. Alright, see you in a sec. Hey YouTube, how you doing? Lola here, obviously. <laughs> so how have you guys been? Missed you. So I thought I'd come out and do another video because, you know, it's been a week and I... So, I've still got the crochet twists in place because they're still looking good, you know? They're a bit fluffy, as you can tell. As I'm like... But... Basically, I'm getting really bored of them because obviously, like all week long, most of the time I have them in a low ponytail. It's like a Joe Kuehler ponytail because it sticks out like this, obviously. But I wear them in the low ponytail so that I can run and work and all that other stuff. And then I get sick and tired of seeing it in the morning. And then I get back on the weekends and I'm like, I'm going to take it down. And then I wear it down and I'm like, hmm, but it looks so good. So yeah, I'm thinking of an next style. So. My idea currently is um, Marley Twists, which is, you know, similar but longer, but with my own hair incorporated into it, because I'm really missing my hair. But, okay, that's enough about hair, because, you know, obviously, it's a lot of time for hair. So the reason also that I want to possibly take down this hair and do another style is also so I can do a bit of a length check, because it's been a long time, hasn't it? Shouldn't have left you without a length check to step to, step to. Just kidding. But yeah, just to see, you know, how far from, I don't know, till the length I am. Right, so currently, enough about hair. What am I doing? I'm reading some books, you know, rereading them. And I just thought I would come and tell you about my current fave books. Because why not? So first is Once a Runner by John L. Parker Jr. And The Art of Running Faster. So you've heard about this one from me before. But basically, I'll start with this. So this is a novel written about runners, and it is so good, people. Like, ugh, it hits the spots. If you are a runner, you'll enjoy it. If you're not a runner, you'll enjoy it because you'll have, like, a unique insight into the mind of a competitive runner, um, someone who trains for certain races and distances. Um, and it just, like, it just, like, is an amazing book written. And the author has actually written a sequel to it. This was first written in 1978. I mean, come on, but it's still so fresh, so awesome. Um, he's written a sequel to it, which I've also ordered, um, which is coming soon, which is called Again to Carthage. And um, he's also written a prequel to it as well, which I've also bought, which is on its way. Because it just, I'm, I mean, I'm rereading this book. I haven't reread a book in like six, seven years rereading re this book. The last time I reread a book was the Hunger Games series where I read all three over and over again like two and a half times. <laughs> so The Art of Running Faster I have read up to chapter 10 already. Sorry chapter 10 but I basically just wanted to reread um, things about like running skill and running form because I feel like I've fallen off in the time that I didn't actually like train for anything you know we'll call it May June probably also a bit of July. So because of all that time where I wasn't training for anything and I was just doing like very minimum mileage and running like an idiot, I think I just like really like, I don't know, thrown off my form. So I want to kind of get that back to what it should be and then that way I can enjoy the running properly. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what I'm rereading that for. Plus also, oh man, I love like reading about running physiology and all that stuff. So guys so what have you guys been up to if you read any good books lately what styles are you thinking i should do next because you know i'm open all right guys you be good god bless mm -hmm.